and at the moment are exploring mushrooms as uh, the, the most interesting 21st century new technology. Um, and that's very tentative. So uh, in the meantime, we're also a company uh, where you can just order stuff that is uh, uh, sort of readily uh, usable and less um, speculative and experimental. So uh, we run a company that makes social media based solutions for the public sector. A lot of them are in the arts and heritage area. So we've been uh, working for the Amsterdam Museum doing their social media based stuff uh, for the Jewish Historical Museum making, for instance, the, the, the community around the database of all Jews that were killed in the Netherlands in the Second World War. It's a big community that I hope my, my colleague has time to show. Are you showing a little bit of that? Also these links? Yeah. These linked uh, um, websites, quite interesting ones. Um, making our own semantic web-based technology uh, to build these systems and interfacing them with uh, real-time, uh, real-life, real-space encounters between people and heritage. Uh, this is something you can play with here. I don't know, did all these people get ICTED? Do you, have, do you know what an ICTED is? And, uh, at the end, so you have to play, uh, make sure that tomorrow morning they all get one. Yeah. Because it's quite, it's fun for you guys to play with this and see what you can do with these technology. We're actually using near field communication, RFID tags, to connect visitors to their social media profiles. So you can have real time interaction with things that you find in the exhibition here. For, uh, the most basic thing is just do a Facebook like and that it, it, the piece ends up on your favorites list on your profile on our website or one of our other clients' websites. And we do a lot of experimental stuff, but also uh, very um, yeah, mundane social media marketing stuff for the arts uh, based on these technologies. Actually, we're working on a, a plan to do a much wider use of these experimental social media things together with the public transport sector in the Netherlands. We have a national Oyster card, uh, which is based on the same NFC technologies as, for instance, the British Oyster card is, is uh, using. And we're going to connect that to a social media marketing network for the arts in the Netherlands in collaboration with the sponsoring national railways. Those kind of projects are the sort of like um, normal service side of media Matic, but at the same time, we're growing mushrooms and uh, trying to find out how we can work as artists and designers with micro-materials, with biocomposite materials that you can make when you have find a nice way of collaborating with fungi, uh, which is very speculative at this stage, and we have no idea how to take away from those experiments yet, but the combination works. Um, so that's Mediamatic. Uh, so please get your ICTAG tomorrow and play with it when you're in this space. Um, and I've asked my colleague Thijs here, who's a, a front-end developer, so he builds websites at MediaMetric. And he just uh, has spent uh, uh, some time the past few weeks to build a nicer interface to Wikipedia from our website. So what he's going to show you is his uh, Wikipedia search mechanism that we built into our website. So if you're in a heritage environment and the local website doesn't have its own content to present, you can easily add and connect to Wikipedia uh, to have a full um, presentation and, and nice links into your guys' work. So uh, I give the mic to Thijs and I wish you a really nice weekend here together. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Um, well, my name is uh, Thijs de Boer. I'm a front end developer uh, here at Media Medic. Um, and since you're all now here, um, maybe it's nice for you to see uh, what we are uh, making, doing with uh, freely reusable content and above all, uh, free licensed content of uh, Wikipedia. And we're doing this for our uh, social media websites. Um, and we're now developing it for uh, the website of uh, National uh, Historical Museum. Um, while it's still in development, uh, I'll, sh I'll show it to you on our uh, development uh, website. Um, so to tell you first about our uh, websites, they are based on uh, a system called Animeda. Um, 
and Animeda has different uh, types of content, and we call those uh, types uh, things. So we have uh, articles, organizations, persons, uh, stories, and many more. Um, and the first feature I, I would like to show you, uh, the first of two, um, is when uh, you create such a thing, um, we can specify a resource for that. Um, like, I will show it to you. I know the, the website is in Dutch, so I'll translate as much as possible. Um, so let's add uh, an article. Um, I give it a, a title. A short uh, introduction. Well, doesn't matter for now, but. and uh, a body text. So, like this. Um, next step, um, I go specify uh, the author of this uh, thing. And for now, uh, while uh, I'm uh, logged in, it is my name, but I can also uh, specify a different one. Um, so you can search in the network uh, of the websites. Uh, for instance, uh, this website is in a, uh, a larger network of multiple sub-websites. And then it's, it searches through that. Um, but maybe you want uh, an author that isn't in the, the system. And that's when uh, Wikipedia comes in. Then you can search on Wikipedia. Um, let's see. First, um, well, I'm going to finish this wizard of uh, creating thing. But what we're going to see now is um, that I made uh, an article, an article with the title Paul Gauguin. Yeah, there it is. And you can see above the author, and that is now a Wikipedia resource. So when I click it, um, I will go directly to the Wikipedia page. So that's our first uh, feature. Our second feature I can show you uh, also here is when we don't have a body text. So um, I'm going to edit this uh, article and remove the body text. edit mode and now what you can see here is they're uh, searching on uh, Europeana and uh, Wikipedia for uh, related content the input is in this case uh, uh, Paul Gauguin the, the title and um, the output is displayed instead of um, where the body text otherwise would be so this way we, we get some context of this article, but in the same time we have kind of semantic search function also. Um, and again, when you click it, you directly go directly go to the uh, Wikipedia page. Or the European page, yeah. Um, so this is what I quickly wanted to show you. And uh, thank you for your attention. <laughs>